All right, so we are looking at uh, the various factors that might have an impact on the exchange rate of a country. Now, uh, we have discussed exchange rate, what they are, what they are, and how they are determined, and we have discussed inflation in separate lessons. So here we are just going to bring the knowledge of those two topics together, and we are going to see what happens when uh, inflation rises. As a result of it, what happens to the exchange rate of a country, right? So of course, inflation, like other factors, uh, it might have an impact and it might have a profound impact on exchange rates. And we are just going to analyze uh, what that impact might be. But when you are answering this question, or whenever you are ask, uh, answering any question related to exchange rate, please keep in mind that exchange rate is impacted both by exports and imports so let, let's assume now that this is uh, uh, this is the demand and supply of uh, the currency of a particular country let's say let's say this is the demand for the Australian dollar right and now let us see what happens uh, when inflation in Australia rises right now the question is simple what is the impact on the uh, uh, on the Australian dollar when inflation in Australia goes up right so now uh, we will have to analyze how inflation impacts both the demand and supply of the currency of the Australian dollar all right now keep in mind what are the factors that have and uh, that have an impact on the demand for the dollar so ask yourself first analyze the demand side what are the factors that are going to uh, impact demand for the currency and of course if your exports increase the demand for your currency will increase right when uh, when your uh, when demand for your commodity increases internationally then the foreign importer will demand your currency to pay you and the demand for your currency will rise What's happening in, when inflation goes up? When inflation goes up, the reverse is happening. My products are becoming more expensive. The Australian products are becoming more expensive in the international market. The Australian products are becoming non-competitive. They are becoming expensive. So what is going to happen to exports? Now here think only about exports because demand is related to exports. Don't think about imports yet. yet. All right. So what's going to happen? The demand for Australian products internationally will fall. Why? Because Australian products have become more expensive and by consequence less competitive. So when exports fall, the demand for the Australian dollar will also fall. So there will be a backward shift in the demand curve. All right. Now, as you can see, there's a backward shift in the demand curve. The demand curve comes here and now D1 is your new demand curve. Why? Because your exports have fallen. All right. And this should become the new equilibrium point where the new exchange rate will be determined. But hold on, not yet. This will not become uh, the new uh, equilibrium point yet. Why? Because we still have to analyze what's going to happen to imports. Now, your exports have fallen because the international consumers are now demanding less of your product. But there are consumers inside your country also. They are also feeling the heat of inflation. They are also feeling that things in Australia have become expensive. So what are they going to do? They are going to increase their demand for foreign imports. So your imports will rise and imports always have an impact on uh, the supply curve. Let's let's uh, uh, look at uh, look at it from our own point of view. If Pakistani products become expensive, the Pakistani producer will start demanding more of cheap Chinese products. All right. So the imports of Pakistan will increase when uh, inflation in Pakistan rises because people start demanding cheap Chinese goods. See, same thing will happen in Australia. In Australia, the Australian consumer will not demand. Uh, Australian products now because they become expensive and they will start demanding products from abroad they will start importing products and in order to import products they will have to 
supply the Australian dollar and purchase the foreign currency. So the increased imports will have an impact on supply. Decrease in import will have an impact on demand for the currency and increase in import will now increase the supply of the currency. People are going to sell the Australian dollar and they are going to demand more of, um, of the foreign currency in order to buy foreign goods. With the net result that there is a massive fall in the exchange rate in the value of the Australian dollar. So this is what inflation does to the value of your currency. Uh, in, inflation is a phenomenal killer of the value of the currency. Why? Because on the one hand it leads to reduction in exports which leads to a fall in demand of your currency thereby forcing its value down and on the other side it increases the supply of the currency because people are now demanding cheaper imports from abroad hence leading to a massive fall in the value of the currency all right so i hope this is clear i'll see you in the next video and please do subscribe to this channel